Hello everyone and welcome back to Steam Hour. If you haven't uh, watched any of these videos before, my name is Allie and I am an educator at the Boys and Girls Club of Fitchburg and Lemonster. And today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making some different airplanes and helicopters and test to see how they fly. So today we're going to be making a helicopter, we're going to be making a paper airplane, and then we're going to be making a loop plane. So three different types of planes with three different designs and we'll see how they fly. So we'll go and test them outside. So the first one we're going to make, I have all of my materials over here. So the materials you're going to need, very few materials. Um, you are going to need one straw for your hoop uh, airplane. You're going to need a ruler, you're going to need one um, paper clip. You're going to need some cardstock paper. If you don't have cardstock paper, uh, just regular paper works, just not as well. And then you're also going to need the printout for making pa paper helicopters, which I will uh, put the link in the post above. And then we're also going to need some directions for our paper airplane, which you can find at a very cool site called Fold and Fly, which I will also post the link up above for that as well. So today we're gonna to be making the sea glider from Fold and Fly. So I have all of the instructions here, which you can print out. So what we're gonna start with is, we're actually going to start with the helicopter. So this one is the, the easiest one, I will say, because the printable, version, all you have to do is cut it out. So I'm going to grab my scissors here and we're going to cut out the shapes on the printable sheet here. So this gives you three different sized helicopters and all you have to do is cut out the printable uh, design here. So this one's super easy, but they're they're really fun, and they actually spin really well. So again, there's three here. I'm gonna start with one, just to show you uh, how to do it. So what you're going to wanna do here is it gives you all the instructions on this piece of paper. So you're gonna want to cut along all the solid lines in the helicopter pattern. So all the solid lines, so I cut it out. And then you're also going to wanna to cut down the middle here on this solid line. And then there's also two little solid lines on the side here. So you're also gonna to wanna to cut those as well. And then it says, Fold the lower section C and D toward each other along the dotted lines. So C and D are these little side flaps that you see here. So you're going to want to fold them towards each other. So into the center along the dotted line. So they should fold right over each other. And make sure we're folding on the dotted line here. And then it says hold the folded sections and place a paper clip on the end. So grab our paper clip here and place it on the end. And that's just your weight. So that is what's going to bring it down. And then it says fold the top blades A and B on the opposite directions. So if you're confused, there's also picture directions on the actual design here. So we're going to fold A and B opposite of each other. So one's going to go this way and one's going to go the other way. And then it says hold the helicopter high above your head and it should spin. So when you hold it up high over your head and release it, it should spin down to the ground. Kind of like what they call helicopter seeds, uh, which are seeds from a tree. Um, they're actually from a maple tree, so they're maple seeds, um, but we'll test this out with the rest of them. So I'm going to leave this design up here. And again, there are three on this page, so you can always have uh, three of them to test out. The, they keep getting a little bit bigger, so I made the smallest one, but you can make ones a little bit bigger as well and see if that makes a difference. So that's a great experiment to see if the size of the helicopter makes a difference in 
how long it spins or how, um, how fast it falls. So those are some things that you can do to experiment with those three helicopter patterns. So that's our helicopter. And again, I will uh, link it up in the description above uh, so you can download that helicopter pattern and print it out. But it's a super easy one and they're really, really fun. They spin and they're really cool. Okay, so now we've made our helicopter, we're going to go into our paper airplane. So you just need a sheet of paper for this. And I have printed out the instructions for the sea glider right here. And you can do that on the website called Fold and Fly. I'm going to link that up above so that you can uh, look at the website. They have tons of paper airplanes to try out. But today we're just gonna try the what's called the sea glider. It's on the medium level, so hopefully it won't be too hard. I am going to follow the first instruction, which is, says to fold the paper diagonally. So we are going to fold the paper to basically make a big triangle. And then the second direction says that we have to cut this piece off to make it a perfect square. Just like you would do if you're making like a fortune teller and you don't have a square piece of paper. All right, so we're gonna take this scrap piece of paper and put it over here. We could use it for a project or something down the line. So we've done step one and step two. Step three says to fold the closed edge, so the edge that you fold it, over about one and a half inches. So you can take your ruler and you can measure one and a half inches if you'd like, or you can eyeball it. So one and a half inches is about right here. So we're gonna fold that over. So that's about one and a half inches. So now it kind of looks like a paper hat. So now you're going to take it and make sure that it's folded really well. And then we're gonna flip over to uh, number four. And that says to fold the plane in half. So we're gonna take this end here and we're gonna fold it over so that we're folding the plane in half. So now we have half of a hat. And remember, you're definitely gonna to want to make sure that your creases are really sharp, so go over them with your fingers or you can use your ruler. All right, so now we have our half of a hat. And then what we're going to do is move on to step five. And it says fold one of the top edges over as shown. So I practiced this airplane uh, a little earlier and this, this direction is very vague, but if you watch the YouTube video, it's a little easier to follow, but I'm gonna try and show you here. So you basically want, just want to fold it over as close to the top as you possibly can get. And this is the tricky part because the folding gets a little harder as you go along. But again, you can use your ruler and try and make sure you get a nice crease on there. But you're basically, you wanna make a V at the top. That's the, the fold. You don't wanna fold it down too much, but you just wanna make a little V at the top. And then if you go flip over to number six, it says repeat with the other side. So you're basically just trying to pull this other side down to where the first one is. So we're just folding this one over and folding this one over, trying to get them to match up. And then you wanna make sure that you crease it fairly well So kind of looks, you can see there's a V at the bottom. You flip it over like this, it kind of looks like a little sailboat. So now what we're gonna do is go to number seven. And it says now fold out one side to create the wing. Again, this was a really vague instruction and the picture doesn't help a ton, but basically you wanna bring the wing out to where your point is on your airplane here.
and then you're going to do the exact same so it's starting to look like our bird here and then you want to do the exact same thing on the other side And then when you fold it here and the final fold is done, you have your glider here. And this is called a sea glider because it kind of looks like a seagull. So that's our finished product. Again, there's a little space here for your the head of the seagull and that's the tail and the wings. So we're going to test this one out and see how it holds up with the other two. Again, this one says, I believe in the front page here, that it is meant for distance, so it should go a little farther, but again, it depends on your creases, the type of paper that you use, and if it's windy. So we'll see. So we have built the paper airplane, we've done the helicopter, now we're gonna do is um, make the hoop plane. So for this, you're gonna need some cardstock. If you only have uh, just regular computer paper, that works too. Um, but what we're gonna do is we are going to measure an inch at the shorter side of your piece of paper. And we are going to, you can either make a little line there, I'm just going to make a little cut here and then you're going to do the exact same thing over again and then if you want you can turn the, pa the paper around and do the exact same thing on the other side and then draw a line so it's straight so we have one inch here and another inch here. So now what I'm going to do is just cut down the line here. And again, if you want to use the ruler to make a straight line down that you can follow, that works as well. So then we're going to cut this one in half. All right, so we have two strips of paper. They're each an inch wide. And this piece of paper is, let's measure, is almost eight and a half inches long. So now what we're gonna do is we're actually going to fold one of them in half and cut down the middle. So we only need one of the half pieces. So now what we're going to do is grab your tape, which I'm going to grab over here, and you are going to make loops out of your two pieces of paper. So let me get some tape here. And we're going to make a big loop out of one of them and tape it together. And then we're going to make a small loop out of the other one and tape that one together. And then this is where you're going to need your straw. So you're gonna grab your straw and you're gonna tape one, the big loop on this end and then the small loop on the other end, both facing the same way. So I'm gonna grab another piece of tape here And we are going to tape one loop on one end and the other loop on the other end. So we're just going to place the tape in here on this one. Oops, got a little crooked here. So you want to make sure that your straw is straight. So we're good there. And then we can tape the small loop to this end. And I might need to cut my tape down a little bit. There we go. And we'll just 
just going to attach the other end of the straw to our small loop here. And we have our hoop plane. So we have our hoop plane, we have our helicopter, and then we also have our paper airplane. So now it's time to test them out. So I am going to use my sidewalk um, to test out our airplanes and helicopters. So it's kind of going to be like our ramp. And let's see uh, what happens when we use our hoop um, plane here. So ready, set. Oh, that one almost made it to the end of my uh, sidewalk here. So that one did fairly well. That's quite a distance. All right, so let's try out my helicopter here. So I'm gonna start from a step up and let's watch it rotate. So that one doesn't go far, but it twirls as it goes down. So let me grab it and we can try again. So here's our helicopter and it twirls as it goes down. So it's really fun. It is kind of windy today, so it's kind of going sideways, but I'll show you one more time. So it's pretty cool. It spins while it goes down. Um, so there's our helicopter, and I will uh, post that uh, pattern when um, we post the Facebook video. And then we have our glider here. So let's see how far our plane will fly. Again, it is a little windy today, but let's see. So that one did not go straight, but that's okay. Um, so it went about, if you look, about halfway. So our hoop definitely won in that instance. But if you look up some other patterns, you might be able to um, get one that goes a little farther. Um, but let's try one more time so you can get to go farther. All right, one last time with our sea glider here. We'll see if we can get it to go any farther. Not quite. <laughs> so it is very windy today, so that might be a uh, reason why we're having a little trouble. Um, I may have not uh, done some correct folds here as well, but it was a good try. So again, I will post the fold and fly um, link so that you can make your own and there are tons of different ones that you can make on your own as well. So we had a chance to test all of the uh, flying vehicles outside. So we did the hoop plane, which went fairly far, went almost to the end of my sidewalk. Um, so you can definitely experiment with that, making the hoops a little bit bigger or smaller um, and see how far they go. And then the helicopter is just really cool because it spins as it goes to the ground. Um, so again, you can experiment with the larger versus the smaller helicopter on that pattern and see which one spins faster or falls faster. Um, you can do your own little experiments with that one. Um, and then the last one was our sea glider. That one didn't go very far. Um, but again, it might be because it's windy and I did make it with computer paper so it's a little lighter so the wind carries it. Um, but there are so many different airplane designs on that website. And the website includes um, directions. It also includes a printable um, template as well. And it also has YouTube videos that you can follow along with if you're having trouble with the folds. I know personally, I was having a little trouble folding the sea glider. So that one was on medium, but they have easy, medium, hard, and expert. So as you go along, you can always go up a couple levels if you're um, finding it's too easy or you wanna challenge yourself. So that's a great way to um, do a little experiment. You can uh, make a bunch of them and see how far they go, or um, if they're aerobatic, if they um, kind of do spins or turns as they go through the air. Um, so usually on the website as well, they'll tell you what type of uh, flyer they are. So if they are made for a distance, if they're supposed to be um, acrobatic, uh, all of those different things. So 
have fun with that. I challenge you to make a couple of those on the website. Um, all you need is a white piece of paper and possibly some scissors. So that's a super easy uh, STEM challenge um, that you can do and uh, it involves just a piece of paper. So uh, have fun with that one. Uh, tons of different designs and I will uh, link the uh, website up above as well. So I hope you had fun today for STEAM Hour. Um, we made a bunch of different flying objects. Uh, which was really fun and also remember to comment down below with ideas for the next steam hour i'd like to know what experiments or projects you would like to do also comment down below with pictures of you, either your paper airplane your helicopters or your hoop plane i'd love to see um, the projects that you've made and also comment down below with um, what was the farthest one you made so the uh, title of the airplane or did your hoop plane go really far? Um, let me know in the comments down below. So thank you for joining me for STEAM Hour and I hope you guys had fun. I'll see you next time.